should just show the screen in me. See what you see once it goes live. See what you get. I see you. Do you see me in the screen? I see. Does it have... Oh, good. Yeah, that's what we want. Yay! We got it to work. Oh, my gosh. Unbelievable. Technology worked. All right, we're here, Ange. We did it. It's you and me and my screen. So we have a different setup today than we've had in previous uh, live sessions from last week, right? Yes. Um, with big thanks to Dave uh, Peterson, who helped me get this going and kind of walked me through this yesterday. If you're a friend of ours uh, or, or my, my personal page on Facebook, you will see that... Um, you would have seen all my test runs that I had yesterday, and just I tried to make sure I got this thing working right. But now we are in Photoshop, and this I is so can cool. screen it and show you everything on my screen as I'm working. I've scanned the piece in from yesterday, and you can actually see my smiling uh, face. So hi everybody, I hope you're all doing well. Wait, and we can see you. Oh, there you are. Yeah. Oh, the lot. Okay, move where your face is at. Can you do that? Uh, yeah. Because the icon that says live is directly over your face. Oh, okay. So maybe put it in the opposite corner? Sure. All right. So you guys are going to get a weird, uh, I can't remember, it's like a parallax thing. You're going to see it while I open up the program. <gasps> what? And I'm going to move it. Is that better? Or bottom right? I can put it in the bottom. Let's do that. Bottom left. Perfect. Let's do that. That's probably less obtrusive. And I look, I'm a little hunchy. I just got to be cognizant of it. That looks it. good. Okay. And then I'll minimize this and it should go back to normal and not be crazy. Is that good? Because I'm truly my full screen. That looks good. Better? I think so. All right. Well, we're working our way through it. And after all, it is live. And um, anyway, we're super excited. Uh, we're going to work on this today, Ange. And um, I'm going to get started. Uh, so just to review. We, uh, yeah. to review, actually to review... Let me see if I can, let me close that. I don't need that right now. Let me see if I open recent, where is he? Order, Facebook Live, I don't know. You'd have to minimize that screen. Uh, I was just looking for the sketch that we could show everybody. And I'm not quite sure. Let me look on my desktop, see if it's on my desktop. It's all right. Yeah. The bottom right. line is... We are working on a graphic. This became official. This is... <laughs> this is official. It has been what, a, one week now. One week, and we've decided to come up with an actual logo. Um, we inked the logo over the weekend. We sketched the logo and inked it over the weekend. This was I was going to do this anyway, remember? I was, I was going to... Uh, to draw this so we're going to just work on them today i'm going to go ahead and i'm just going to move at my speed that i normally move at i just put them on another layer and i'm going to just start working at this the way i would anything i normally work at on i'm lightening the, the highlights inch a little bit so he's a little crisper i'm gonna um i think i'm gonna deepen the darks let me see if that works. Let me go maybe one more time. Let's just see if the dark. I'm gonna just punch up the contrast. Oh yeah, see that's contrast. Better. Pump the contrast up a little bit. Um, and I'm gonna clean them up. We can see where the um, all the pencil lines and there's white out and all kinds of stuff. So I'm gonna clean clean them all up overall. And uh, I'm gonna switch to my. tablet I'm gonna put a five on that and I'm just gonna go and and of course and you and I are gonna talk but then we'll take uh, questions questions comments um, shout bear, outs. bear in mind there is I think there's song a request song request <laughs> there is a buffering lag so um, it's not that that uh, much of a lag I have to say oh that's great I'm not glad I was worried that there was gonna be one and so I'm glad that there isn't one. So I'm just, Angie, I'm just cleaning out the big open white spaces of any dirt, dust, and debris that might be in there. So I'm just drawing really quick circles. Oh, and the cleanup, like where you had that old wing and stuff? 
So right now you're looping areas and deleting to just get all that crisp and clean. Yeah, just all a bunch of it. It's just quicker right now. It's on its own layer. So, I mean, it's... Using the lasso tool. Yeah, you can kind of see I'm just using the lasso tool to kind of just grab stuff. The whole thing's going to get flattened again anyway, but this just is quick and kind of do this. So this is, you know, it's, it's different than watching me draw, but, uh, you know, that looks a lot better, doesn't it? Without the arm, I got to say. I think it's gonna I It's going to read better. We'll lighten up in his his hands there and uh, I'm going to do a quick clean up. Now I'm also going to do the um uh you're not working in Illustrator, you're in Photoshop I'm right in now. I'm in Photoshop today. Yeah. I flipped him. Wow, he holds up pretty well in the mirror flip, Ange. Not too bad. Not too bad. But it's going to help me see all kinds of things that need to be cleaned up. Look at all, there's lots of dirt, so we've got lots of fun clean up. I'm going to use this. Well, uh, Dave Peterson wants to know, what voice does Graham have, and if you had to cast any actor, dead or alive? Oh, wow. Dave, first of all, Dave Peterson, thank you again for helping me yesterday so that I can do this. I wouldn't even be on live like this today if it wasn't for Dave's uh, babysitting me like a child and showing me how to do all this. Um, I, uh, when we were first looking into do the audio book, I, I completely um, just asked if, if Sir Ian McKellum was available. Because <laughs> I can totally see it like a, you know, a very stately British voice um, like Sir Ian McKellum. Um, and then we asked for like Eddie Izzard. We thought he would be kind of a cool voice. For he is dramatic. He's very dramatic. He's very dramatic, and he does sing, and he he, he does enjoy he's probably his done creme some, brulee. He's, he's done pro, summer. He's stock. done summer stock. <laughs> yes, he's definitely done. He loves has, a fine live performance. Yes, orchestral yes. or theatrical. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> So he he's a very anyone who's British and pretentious, basically. Yes, exactly. That's Graham. <laughs> mm -hmm. Very. Uh, it it is the voices in Kenny and the Dragon. I would say are uh, definitely a mixture of kind of the the redneck hillbilly Southern voices that I heard in in Kenny and his family, and then this kind of British. Uh, voice so and I'm the just... reaction of like when well I mean they're not like rednecks they're just they're like but farmers no. they're they're yeah. country folk salt of the earth they're not like yeah but well, Kenny's mom says words like get and and yeah but I, I lived in Georgia tarnation they, you know bit. what I mean they're very they're using a lot of southern colloquial terms and correct colloquial did you like how I used that? Mm -hmm. Patrick Stewart, yes, very much so. Oh, my gosh, yes. yes. Patrick Stewart would be Absolutely, amazing. Patrick Stewart. Whoever said that, yes, a million yeses. Very, very dramatic. Yes. Yes. Full Fine, sir. It's good fellows. Full speed ahead. <laughs> That's it. That's it, yes. Again, apologies Sorry, to any what, tool, what are you doing? Dot, what are I'm you, doing right a now? lot of things right now. Right now, this I'm using... This is the super down and dirty cleanup. I'm doing a cleanup. Dodge. I'm do, using the dodge on Photoshop so you can burn or dodge. So what dodge does is it light... I have it set to lighten the highlights, if you look here. And it's only doing it at 2%, but it's super strong. And it's burning out the pencil while leaving the, the darks untouched it's for like the It's like an eraser, part. but heavy duty. But not erasing. It's just it's just burning out the highlights, and then I'm using. I have this set on a cartoonist nib, and I'll switch between. Um, you know, like if I need to draw, but right now I have it set to white, so I'm just whiting out any little nuggets that need to be whited out, and we'll we'll clean it up before we start blocking. Benedict color. Cumberbatch. Yes, he would do it. Yes. Although he's already voiced a dragon. He to did. Be fair. Yeah. And it's so he's. I'm sure he has a sense of humor, but he is so darn serious. I feel like he it has to be someone who has a little bit of a sense of humor. Graham, I feel Graham definitely has a sense of humor. This is random, but the answer is yes. I will tell you, Chris Burns. Your question, have you seen the Hall & Oates hotline? <laughs> Choice of four songs. Absolutely Amazing. we have. Oh, yeah. Spe that came up when I did the um, stuff I did in the 80s a couple years ago, which uh, is now on my website if you missed it. But it's basically a bunch of recollections of things I did in the 80s when I was a young teen. 
and I did it via all these reminiscences via drawings, and I posted one a day. Anyway, Hollow Notes came up because Hollow Notes was a huge part of my life growing up, and someone recommended that, and we called it. You called it. Yeah. Well, were... there's a couple. There was a couple connections to Hollow Notes. Well, first of all, we we love Hollow Notes. We, we went Hall to Hall. see them in concert. Yes. Um, we did chant oats most of the show because I feel like Daryl Hall gets all the love. So you know. Well, look at that hair. Yeah. I mean, he is and a... those. Ocean blue eyes. There's someone at the, the front door. Oh, hold on. It, it never it, fails. It's the 1 p.m. It's, FedEx. It's it's live. It really I'll be is back. live. The dogs are going nuts. Even though you can't see them going nuts. They're letting us know. Someone's at the door. I hope everyone's hanging in there and doing well. Um, Massachusetts, I just was talking to my friend Scott uh, Fisher. He was telling me we're not under official lockdown but i think we're like on unofficial lockdown which basically means you know they're going to close any remaining stores aside from essential things and i was thinking about that that the the people that are at grocery stores and gas stations and and having been a teenager who worked at a grocery store um you know usually our mentality was they don't pay me enough to deal with the, the 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 problems that so many customers would throw at us and i think now that these folks who are working at these types of jobs are literally what is keeping communities together certainly if they continue to keep shutting down um a lot of other businesses and i i still hope that we're we're through this quickly as quickly as possible so that businesses can survive. What was it, Ange? It's a package? No, it was nothing. <laughs> yes, it was a package. This is, we're in full homesteading mode here. It was my um, raw, uncut soap because I've been making homemade soaps. You and Soph have been doing that. <laughs> it's That's a, awesome. Yeah, it's yeah, been it's fun. Cool. It's like crafting and being in the kitchen. Just something. And also wash your hands. We need soap. We need soaps. I was just talking a little bit about like how I've been thinking about the our the folks who work at grocery stores and and drug stores and gas stations and how they will literally be if 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 we continue to keep shutting down everything which Massachusetts I think did unofficially today um, they will be the people holding communities together and and keeping it from slipping into complete Mad Max. <laughs> Wow. I know. Careful of the lie. There's no lie in this, actually, uh, Dave. It's like a cut and pour. So you basically, like, microwave it up, softens it up, add your oil, so I don't have to deal with any uh, lie, which is no awesome. Lie. No and that's lie. no lie. And that's no... Hey, you know what? Hips don't lie. <laughs> your your <laughs> hips don't... They, they generally don't lie. Uh, they, lie. they really lies, don't. Lies, 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 yeah. Lie, 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 yeah. Mm -hmm. So I'm doing, it's a very quick, we'll look at the whole thing. I'm just doing a quick sweep over the whole piece to do a nice clean up. Oh my gosh, and Kentucky's on lockdown today. Michigan got lockdown orders. Oh my gosh. You guys. Hang in there. We need each other more than ever. We really do. Uh, our daughter, we, so Ange, we went to school, oh. we went to our daughter's school this morning. Wait, you're working on this in reverse. How, yes, I am yeah. working on it. I did flip it so that I can see any errors because you get used to seeing it um, in its finished form so that you your eyes start to not see the errors in it. So when you flip it, it's like looking at it fresh. Like, for instance, that should just be like that. See? I might have overlooked that. I don't know what those are called, those little whisker, the whisker base, Ange, for like a whisker. Whisker I, hole? I actually think you could get rid of one. The whisker hole? <laughs> yeah, the whisker hole. Which one do you get rid of? The one for I got the down? One. I did it already. Oh, it's okay. done. It's it's that fast. Now, I know this whole area... I'm pointing and they can't see Mr. Point. Whisker. Um, I'll, I'll draw a box around it. This oh, area here, Jeez. around his nose, you were a little concerned with. So we'll, we'll keep an eye on that as we move through this. I'm almost done doing the cleanup. Um, you know... I do clean these up quite a bit uh, when I when I get them ready for print. I would have spent a little more time doing it, but for the sake of our logo, which is going to be this tiny little logo, I think we're in good shape. I'm going to hit it with a 
filter. I tend to use Smart Sharpen a lot for my pen and ink drawings. I think it looks pretty good. I don't mess with it. Sometimes I do, but I usually leave it, I, you know. Just so you know, those giant fat pencils usually have tassels hanging off of them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we can draw We can draw your plume. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we can try it. We can draw your plume. I'm going to look, then look, you at, guys can look at that. Look how crisp it looks now. So good. I'm going to do a save. I, uh, I'm just going to use the shortcut button. Which is Cloverleaf S. Yeah, and a Macintosh, or it's option. Command, yeah, it's command, command S, S, or, you know, we call it Cloverleaf. Mm -hmm. You know, very technical terms that we use here. Um, you know, I might clean up the lines. I'm feeling like this is a little blobby-ish. I might just clean it up. I'm going to burn it out a little bit. You can see some of the pencil. Usually it's like the smear. There's like a fine line for me of like, how much do I want to... Um, I'm listening. Are you using a tablet and pen stylus for this stage? Yes, I'm using a Wacom, little Wacom pen and a, a Wacom tablet. In fact, my Wacom tablet, if for anyone technical, um, I it died. I'm using the newest version of Photoshop. I switched over some years ago when they went to the subscription base begrudgingly because I thought, oh my gosh, but I spend so much money on Photoshop. I've done it legitimately for most of my career. I have not used oh, yeah. the bootleg versions. I feel like it's an amazing program. I'm happy to give them my money year after year. And now I'm like, I give them money month, month to month. Anyway, the Wacom tablet, my Wacom tablet started going wonky and I called Adobe and told them what was going on. And the guy goes, what version of what? Oh no! Oh, I you're just Wacom. straightening your lines. Right I just now. cleaned the line. Yeah, I okay, literally. I okay, so see. so here, here's what it was, and then here's what I just did to it. Oh, I gotta show. I'm just gonna hit the redo. I don't remember what the redo. There you go. See better. You're making straight lines. I made it a little straighter. Yeah. Yeah. Just do, shaving I drew, off. I drew a, a little I drew, shave. I drew a white line on top of the dark line to give it a little cleaner look. So I'm using a guide. Here, I'm using the guide. Then to grab the guide, you just go up to the ruler and hold down, and you grab a guide. see it on the bottom. You yeah, and I'm going to do it on the guide. bottom. I'm just going to clean it up a little bit. So I'm keeping, I'm using a cartoonist nib, which is one of my favorites. I'm putting a dot here. If I hold the shift key down and run to the other side here, it draws a line, a white line. I, I think keep... you just took out that little chunky edge there. Yeah, but I'll, I'll put it back. Oh, okay. So I can do that. I can also redraw the line in black if I want to, to reinforce it. So if I want to do, I don't ever go quite there. I usually do like a 90%. So if I go here, I'm going to draw a dot and then I hold the shift down Ange, and I yeah. draw, see, oh, it yeah. drew the line for me. So you could do that. Like I can, anywhere I, I go, it'll, you know what I mean? It, it'll just keep, Whoa, yeah. Look at that technology. I was actually thinking about this today, how powerful these computers are, which is crazy because when we first met, 27 years ago, we went over to our friend, or your friend at the time, who I became friends with, Steve Rosen's house, and oh, he yeah. had, it was an early it, version of Photoshop. Probably like Photoshop 2. I mean, we learned it in art school, but it was really in its... And he was like, you guys, check this out. You have to see this technology. And he had a photo, and then he was like, I'm going to make this look like it was painted, <laughs> by was it was it van gogh or just watercolor it, it was it, it was a water, watercolor like a filter filter and he's like okay guys watch we're gonna do the, this watch I'm, me click this button click okay let's come back and we're gonna go get lunch three hours. and when we come back from lunch it's gonna look like, like a watercolor painting and i remember being like huh yeah well in three hours okay. i could have three I short hours yeah, and it's amazing now. Now we're like, right? oh, it's, it has, it's why is it lagging? It's, Wait, now we do it on our phones, in our hands, in an app when there's also live. and it's just live. twenty other filters that can Going. do every other style of art. It's now watch this, Angie. Uh, you wanted to see the plume. Sure. Uh, first of all, let me see how those lines. Kind of, yeah, so I cleaned them up a little bit. It looks a little better in the center. They're going across his under his arm. I just straightened them out. They're still very hand-drawn looking. I might go in and clean it. I look and there's some little right here. Let's zoom in on some of the... Mm -hmm. Agreed. There's little clumps here and there that yeah. I could probably just... For the bottom part of that. Yeah, line. a little bit. You know, I mean, it, 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 the thing with the computer is you can go and go and go and like go. Like, how and much I, do you want to How start? deep do you go well, I mean, you know, into the insanity? Mm -hmm. and, and where do you stop? 
Oh, I like that. And it's it's amazing. So it's for me, draw. it's always like a fine line of like, yeah, here's what I've you know, here it is. I'm Again, excited we'll be... to plunk some color on this dude. Yeah, I know you're you're you get impatient for this this stuff. This I stuff... mean, I understand the importance of this, but I also know this is the thing that you can get caught up in, where it's like, look at this thing, oh, kind of do that. Oh, okay, oh, oh. look at that. Oh, oh look, look at that. that. I actually, oh, I like that. I gave him a little bit of an eyelash there, and it. He needed it, but there's a little bit of not sure what's going on here. I'm gonna just wipe that out and just maybe what about that. that little area. This area, I know. I'll know once we put the color in. Okay, because we, we can make that tonal that. too. Yeah. Yes, we can cut, definitely cut it out and just make it a tonal. Yep. But... I'm thinking that might be the solution. Yeah. So I, I'm trying not to over overcorrect if I see little bits and of course I'm so zoomed in the average viewer is not even going to see any of this at all all right let's go I'm ready all right so let's you want your plume so I'm gonna make a new layer we're gonna call it and you do this backwards well this is backwards Andrew's Andrew's plume <laughs> here it is Andrew's plume has been created now I'm, just, I'm gonna just do a really simple I'm we just were gonna... all discussing when well, some of us were discussing we were like oh how about a plume so what I've done on this layer, so if you can think of Photoshop uses layers the way an animator uses acetate. It's a clear layer, and, and it's whatever you put on that clear layer. So the I've just put a glob of white over the pencil, so that's all I'm doing here. So if you were to turn it off, you can, well, you can't see the white. Oh, there, there you go. You can enjoying see enjoying I... a warm chocolate chip cookie and watching. Oh, man. Thanks for sharing. I feel like, man, come on. Now I'm hungry for snacks. I know. Someone else <laughs> said we should be eating cookies. All right, I'm going to flip it back. Oh, yeah, sure. Flipping it back. Flipping it back. All right. Now you're, you're, uh, I'm on your layer. Yes. And I'm going to draw the plume. Yeah, I'm going to. We'll see. God, I'm, I'm already worried that you're going to be like, don't. That I'm going to be right? Yeah. Oh, come on. <laughs> you're like, it's a giant novelty pencil from <laughs> the south of the border. Visitor center. Like, where do you get a giant novelty pencil these days? Yeah, really. Where do you? Oops. Oh, come on. That looks kind of rad, guys. What do you think? Are you down with the... I, but I don't think he's... right. I don't think he's drawing. I think he's writing. Dear diary, today, day five of quarantine. Well, are you going to show what he's doing anyway? No. So what's the difference if it's a pencil or a... Like... Because he's drawing. It says drawn... I don't know. You guys are gonna have to vote. I, it's gonna stay its own layer, and you guys, okay. you Hold all. Hold on, zoom out. Let's just see. I want to see it zoomed out. And then out. you tell me whether Disneyland exactly. That's where you get giant novelty pencils. Well, yes, that that is. This brush is great. Oh yeah. I added another one of his spines here. Paintbrush, someone said. Ooh, it's getting some thumbs up. Oh. And man. hearts. Oh, thanks, guys. <laughs> thanks a lot. This, yeah. Way to back me up. Um, well, listen, it's it's here. We can always go. Oh, I did all that. See, I did all that other stuff on the. On, oh my on gosh, he looks so cute. Look you at love him. it being a pen, don't you? I Probably just. A plume. It it's saying the words drawn to fantasy. Well, but we can, we can switch it. Oops. Oh. I don't know. Dave Peterson, what do you think? He's probably gone. He's like, this guy's just a Stan boy. says plume. S Stan, just on. Uh, Avery I'm says, Avery says plume looks more classic, but pencil's more modern. Thank you, Avery. Cheryl. Stan, just stop following my page. Really? You're already doing this to me? Come on. You're just selling me out. Pe Dave Peterson, pencil reads his drawing, but feather looks cooler. <laughs> so <laughs> diplomatic. <laughs> Thanks. Dave, <laughs> thanks. Plum for the win, says Eric Merker. <laughs> oh, man, even Eric. Ashley says pencil, though. Oh, man, even <laughs> Eric Burker. Macy Plume, angel pe pencil. Oh, God, it's going to be divided. Oh, Jolene pencil equals drawing. Yes, thank you, Jolene. Jolene, Jolene. 
But Lori Walker Stupak from Jupiter High School, class of 1991. What? Shout is that, out. Is that someone? It's one of my classmates. What? Says Plume. <laughs> yeah, well, she's obligated because she went to school with me. She's got to. She's got to do the plume, the day plume. Mm, plume's looking pretty rad. Thank you, Gage. Gage, <laughs> it's like a stab in the heart. <laughs> At two, Gage. Pencil behind the ear, is what Dave Peterson said. Oh, well, you can't have. T- oh, mm. Who, dr- Dave? Do you draw mm. with a pencil behind your ear and one in your <laughs> hand? Hold on, I'm gonna put the pencil here, and now I'm no. Uh, oh. Wow. No, I'm feeling a little... You guys got me cornered. All right, we're going to stick with <laughs> How the... How about a plume with the novelty eraser? <laughs> with the tassel. Yeah, hold on. Let's let's do the next level. Hold on. Let's do another. Okay. Here's the deal. Fine, novelty pencil. Do you know how hard it is to find the giant sharpeners for the novelty pencils? It's really difficult. Is it? You always have got you, the pencil, and looked? then you were like, now I can't sharpen it. Yes, because I have those pencils. Mm-hmm. What the? What the heck is that? <laughs> it's the novelty pencil with, like, Mickey and everybody. No. <laughs> it's the Disney one. No. No? No. You don't like- uh, <laughs> looks like one of those things when you play the bass drum in marching band. Dum, dum, dum. Dum, dum, dum. Okay, hold on. Hey, thanks, uh, Carol Plume. Oh, really? <laughs> well, I am being selective about the people. I'm just- <laughs> <laughs> oh, of course you are. Nice. Stanley knife is the best way to sharpen. Yes. How about... <laughs> a piece of asparagus. <laughs> Let's just no! make it weird. No? That's horrible. Who draws with asparagus? <laughs> Do you think his piece smells No, funny let's afterwards? think. <laughs> what do you think? What are other things? Wait, how about a turkey leg? A giant turkey leg. Draw that. <laughs> <laughs> This is this is this is where it's what involved. What a novelty! Why don't they make turkey leg pencils? Mmm, he would use that. No, I mean <laughs> it would be rabbit. You think he's a vegetarian? Oh, how many <laughs> rabbits would a dragon have to eat? That's a human leg. <laughs> That's probably human. Yeah. Yeah, he'd be like, mmm, fema. That if you didn't know what that was, you would just be like, what is that? It's just a glob. Aww. All right. I'm back. Mm-hmm. All right, so it's it's exactly asparagus for eating, not yeah, for drawing. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, that plume does look good. Yeah, I, I look. I'm willing to admit when something I don't like doing it, as Angela will tell you many times. And you know what? Listen, we'll do. we'll do the lettering. We'll put it all in, and if you guys are like, no pencil, pencil, I'll put the pencil back. Hold on. Um, I'm just gonna Carolina. No, stop talking. Just kidding. I'm just wondering the size of the edit. Watch that. Oh, bigger. I just made it a little bigger, and I'm gonna give yes. it a little. Yes. Feel like it needs a little bit of that kind of. Come on, that is rad. The bend, that plumy oh, bend. That real... Oh, come on. Oh, hold on. I've overdone it though. There we go. <laughs> oh yeah, you would have if you did the turkey leg. It would have to have a bite out of it. Oh and yeah. And you know what's and turkey a little bite. bit of that like steam. Mm. Is that too close those are to his? So weird. Is those that, turkey legs. Is that too close yes, to his beard? Yes, it is too close to his beard. Um, the turkey leg that always tastes like ham. Don't. It's so weird. It's just salty and hammy. Better. Yay. Here, hold on. I can hide it. I got to clean out the little bit. That looks pretty good. Is it weird around his beard? I can't tell. I think it's okay. Well, let's zoom out. Let's see. Check we'll it out, We'll have to dudes. prove it. Here. Here's what it was. check any triac Let's do a before and after. Yes, let's. Uh, hmm. uh, uh, here we go. Before. Ooh. After. Ooh. Better, right? It's better. I dig it. Yeah. All right. A just bit of fluff sure. at the nib. And let's put the... I just need that. Yeah, I mean, you draw with ink all the time. Use a dip pen. When you're drawing. I do. I mean, yes, I do. Mm-hmm. 
a sharpened tree trunk. Yes. All right. I think we're good. I think it looks good. Um. Do Do I want to mess with this beard? I feel like the beard's You want to break into it a little, or uh, what do you want to do? I don't know. Let me... Here, I'll use my Disneyland. It's... I, hold on. Let me just... Shorten it. Yeah, thank you. Let me you. just... God, it almost works without the beard. I gotta be no, honest. you can do a little bit. Just make it a little... Yeah, thank you. That's there. better. Much better. Yeah, okay, Yeah, because I'm looking at the original drawing, and it's too close to his body in that. Oh, I got texted by my dad. <laughs> he says, Okay. He's not tuning in. He's just letting me know. Hey, Scott Fisher. He likes the flow is better. Plump, plumed, plumped, plumped up. Plumped up, plume, plume, plump. All right. I'm committing. Oh, I'm no. Committing. Sorry, Luis. He said um, his English is terrible and we're speaking very fast. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. What color will they be? Uh, we're uh, going to find out. We're going to find out because Ange is like kicking me under the table saying, let's no, get I'm to not. the. No, I'm not. kick you. I mean, I want to personally see color because it is the jam. Colors of the wind. All right. I think we're going to save it. Yeah. I'm now gonna I'm gonna, and I'm going to flatten it. Do it. That's a serious now, commitment. Listen, it is. But we'll, we'll, now we're going to save it as I'm going to um, image. I'm going to image change it to a RGB. And now I'm going to save it again as a colorized version. Drawn to fantasy color. There we go. So now we're messing. Now there's a black and white version that has the layers with the plume. And now we have this version. Um, so how do we do this? So a uh, couple ways. Um, I'm going to open up. A cover so you can cover. see. cover. There's the original cover. You can just literally eye drop I'm going to eye drop it, I think. I think that's what how we could do it. Um, I just arranged the, the pane so I can have both of these things. I actually don't need much of that. I just need a sliver of it. And um, I'm going to start with a silhouette. This is called, um, uh, let's call it Graham Silhouette. I'm just going to put Sil. Um, there is, Ange, there is no, I'm going to brace, brace everybody for this. There is no fun or shortcut way to do this, at least to my knowledge, and do it clean and accurately. <laughs> Rest in peace, pencil. Yeah, pencil's long <laughs> gone, guys. I, have I know. To Let's, should of... we have a moment of silence for the pencil? I well, know. we could, and we can talk a little bit, because this is the fun part where you guys, this is the glamorous part of literally watching me draw a polygon around Graham's entire silhouette. This is also known as flatting in comic book land. I We did a lot of this, actually, um, in Wandla. I actually hired someone to do this part for me. It helped me uh, color uh, Eva and her friends, and um, also in Broken Ornament. So David White helped me with Wandla, and... Um, Sorry, I can, sometimes I can't talk. That's okay. That's time. okay. So you're basically what you're doing is, I'm is you're drawing a, a shape on a separate layer, the outline that we're going to fill. Right. We're, it's a it's like a fill layer for for the whole thing, and it comes in really handy. It's going to come in handy for not just putting the color in him, but just selecting him. If I want to put some shadow or a gradient on him, it's it's all it's like a little a little mask, a little template, a little frisket, however you want to view it, a little stencil. However, however you need to get your head around it, that's and and I'll have to do it for the other aspects of this. So you're as tracing well. over all the shapes so you can and create you can, their own layer. Yeah, and you can see I'm kind of going down the middle of it, and you'll see why in a moment. And Graham will be the most complicated ver thing I have to do, so that's why I'm doing him now. Why people are aren't completely bored out of their brains. Um, this the other, part's boring. The other aspects will be will go quicker, like his drawing board. Uh, if you're this photo, takes, I it, will say this takes some serious hand-to-eye coordination because you're looking at the screen. Yeah, but, but you're using you're moving your hand, so you're looking straight ahead and you're lose, using your hand to yeah trace whatever and shape. And if you're, you're watching me, uh, I just realized my like I'm literally doing the Charlie Brown tongue when I concentrate, which is when I'm really concentrate. Well, I'm conscious now, so I'm self-conscious of it. But I just realized I was doing the Charlie Brown tongue. Um, if you're a Photoshop junkie, I'm holding the option key down while I'm drawing this, which allows me to not close. 
which is the crazy polygon and I can go I can connect it like a connect the dot but then I can hold the the cursor down and just draw if you well. screw this up you start all over again yeah I don't want to do that I want to start all over again I you know you may have to just erase part of it out no almost done coming up to the ear See, it wasn't so bad you're you're very quick at this I know well listen we have uh, three to seven months, so <laughs> we've got time. Avery uh, says, wouldn't a mask be quicker? Just slice out big swaths until you need to get in close. I think with Photoshop, there are nine different ways to get to a thing. I'm going to just put it, I always just put it as a general color. Now you can't see it, right? It's there. So I'm going to set him to multiply. Now we can see it. So there you go. So now I've got a mask for um, for Graham. I got to cut out this part here. Let me do that really quick. Um, there are so many ways to do things in Photoshop, which is why it's just such an amazing program. And I'm sure in Illustrator there was there's probably even more ways. I'm going with what I know, and I am not a computer. Um, Genius. Rocket, yeah. I, I have, you know, I'm, a, I'm a 50 year old Gen Xer who grew up with the advent of computers, and I try to stay on top of them as much as I can. But I'm sure there are people that can do this faster, that can do it quicker, and are more efficient at it than I. I'm just going with um, what I, what I know how to do. In fact, I lay my book dummies out in Photoshop, especially now. It's a lot easier because Photoshop's become so versatile. Do you guys have any questions? Let me know. All right. So Graham's been, uh, I'm going to do the plume now. Hi, Sandra in Maine. Hi, Sandra in Maine. Hope you guys are doing well in Maine. All right. New layer, plume. Oh, I'm sorry. Andrews. Well. Thank you. Yeah. Anytime. All right. I'm going to draw the little polygon for yeah. Andrews plume. This will, obviously, all these other little pieces are going to go a lot quicker. But I wanted, I mean, listen, I could have done everything we've shown I could have done it prior to. I could have done it this morning. But I've also felt like it's important to see that there is a lot of this kind of work that has to go into making a piece of art. It's not just like I'm going to draw a thing and, and look how f that instant gratification. That there is all this aspect of it too where the art has to be cleaned. And, and um, you know, if it's color digital, that you know, these... No, am I just um, blathering too Okay, much? so <laughs> um, what were the most valuable lessons you learned from your art teachers, asked Adeline Martin. Oh, jeez, that's a good question. The most valuable lessons I learned from my art teachers. First of all, well, who were your favorite art teachers? I, you know, I was lucky. I went to public school down in Florida, grew up in South Florida, and I was fortunate in that I had a, a really influential art teacher in all of my uh, grades, in one in, in elementary school and in middle school and in high school. So in, um, in elementary school, it was my fifth grade teacher, Mr. Strasberger. He was an amazing human being. Um, Hold on, I'm, I'm thinking and, and working here at the same time, which sometimes... Yes, oh, Randy, you can see you. that little spot on his goatee. Tony will go in and uh, probably... Oh, wow. Oh, hey, that's great, because that means the clarity on this is yep. is that good. Uh, Ooh. Hold on, I wanted to make a new layer. New layer with a selection. There we go. Uh, that's his mm. easel. Now we'll fill it. Thank you, Randy. I'll get there. Now watch. I mean, I can now I can I can put his easel behind everything, which works. But the other thing I can do, Ange, is if I keep his easel here, I'm going to select Graham. Oops, wrong button. I'm going to select Graham and the plume, mm -hmm. and then I'm just going to go to the easel layer and delete it. So now that it's all interlocking pieces. Uh, and Randy, this is for. Oh, see now because I did that, I it filled it in blue, but because Randy asked and we do listen here at Dieter Lisi live why is it not filling I don't know what why. tool are you on I'm on pen I'm on oh 
You're in the wrong layer? No, it's in front of it. There it is. Bling. Boop, 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 after all that, boop. after all my trying to be slick, I still messed it up, Randy. And look, now I'm erasing on the wrong layer. Uh, okay, we were talking about teachers. I had, um, you know, their their general overall encouragement, I, I it sounds corny, but that really does go a long, long way. Um, okay, circle. It's a long, you know what? I, yeah. It's a long answer. It's a long answer, to be honest with you. Okay. And, and I, I can't concentrate and give that answer I right want to say something. So you had a teacher that asked you, you had taken all the art classes, and then you had another teacher who had asked you to do a, an assignment, like an extra art assignment. Um, okay, so Mr. Wetzel, in high school, I had taken all of his art classes by the time I was a senior. And so I was 16, probably not quite 17 years old yet. And he recognized my talent, knew um, that we, my parents, my family didn't have the kind of money to put me in a fancy, like there was no way they were going to pay, f f would able to be able to afford me going to a fancy pants art school. So he was like, you're going to really need to, um, um, figure out how to to do school and get into into an art school and um building your portfolio and build a port thank you uh, you can yeah. see, you no, can no, tell no, i'm no, concentrating no. So i, I know like you're concentrating i i feel like so he was like you need to think about i want you to think about a project that you can do through the entire semester. I want you to take the whole semester to focus on one project. Right. And, and I want it to be a showcase piece for your portfolio. And I didn't know what to do. As I drew all kinds of stuff. I loved comics. I loved books. Blah, blah, blah. So I came back after Dilly Dallying after a week. And I, my brother, Adam, was reading Alice's Adventures in Wonderland in school. In his school. He's younger than me. He was in elementary school. And I came and we. I looked at the artwork and realized how much I love the artwork. And... Um, I came back on Monday and I told Mr. Wetzel um, I, that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to um, do my own version of Alice in Wonderland. And he said, that sounds great. I want you to um, redesign all the characters, make them look like yours. Do illustrations that haven't already been illustrated yeah. by Tenniel. Yeah, by Sir John Tenniel, who was the original illustrator for Alice in Wonderland. I'm just adjusting this line here. So oh, that's it, okay. It's I'm perfectly listening. circular. I'm just... And um, and I did, and I spent that part of the semester. By the time I was done, and there's a, I, there's a much longer version of the story, but so I'm abbreviating it. By the time I was done, I knew I wanted to do children's books as my career. So I was 16, 17 years old, and I knew from then on that I wanted to be a children's book uh, storyteller. I don't think you received like that one piece of wisdom. It was more like, hey. Waves of it was, encouragement and yeah. wisdom. And also thinking like, okay, is this what you want to do? Here's how much work it takes to do it. Yeah. You know, and I think if you're a freelancer Oops. at anything, it's not just about the art or the craft. It's about, you know, how focused you are, how determined you are, how willing you are to put the work in we had an illustrator um recently reach out to us who wanted advice and he was asking he was working on a book and he said i finished the book but the publisher came back to me and asked me to do um some additional changes and add another spread of art should i ask them for more money to which our answer was absolutely not <laughs> You, the book is done when the book is done mm -hmm. and it takes a lot of work and it's not always finished when you think it's finished um and you know I, tony will tell you he was not the best artist in his class he was not recognized as the best sometimes i was but m more often than not it was somebody else yeah you shall keep... not be named no <laughs> um <laughs> um you know i worked as a makeup artist for uh, many years, for 15 years. Um, it wasn't about just being the best. It was about just how hard you were willing to work and how passionate you were about your work. And not giving up and, and all those all things. All that stuff all that, that you that... hear all the time that seems so trite. <laughs> yeah. So hopefully that. Um, it's probably not a clean clean answer, but it's, it's, it's the truth. Okay. 
Wow, sorry, I missed a bunch of your uh, messages. Um, did your art teachers get to see your success, Amy asked. Oh, yes, Amy. Um, both Mr. Prostopnik, uh, my middle school art teacher, uh, got to see my exhibitions. At, I'm friends with him on Facebook, all of them. And he was up, uh, I got to see my exhibition um, at the Norman Rockwell and at the um, Mint Museum when it was there last year. And Mr. Wetzel, Tom Wetzel, was at my um, opening for the Norman Rockwell um, exhibition and he got a special shout out and all the all the things so i i've i've never held back on letting them know how much i uh love them i mean i really for lack of better they, they they're not my parents um they're public school teachers uh they're tortured daily by students who don't care and they uh they endure just like many teachers do and um, they they find st the students who are really passionate and love what they're doing and someone like me and they saw something and they were able to encourage it and, and um, bring something out in me that I didn't know I was even capable of doing. And I want them to know how much I love and respect them for sticking with it because I, I certainly was one of those kids who also tortured them <laughs> you know i wasn't like a perfect kid in in high school i definitely got into lots of trouble all right Angela, okay. we're getting there Tim got... wants to know do you have any tips on what to put in a portfolio for an art school application oof boy oh boy do i know i ah jeez i don't I, most of the art schools i think tell you what they want don't they good place just here's what i would say good place to start well, Something it, that you really, really are excited about doing. Yeah. A piece that you're super excited about. That's that's legit. Something that you are really, really good at. Also a good point. And, I mean, I would say different pieces, right? And then something that doesn't exist, but you think it should. Mm -hmm. Those are all good. I think the point of art school is generally to expose you to as much... At least from my experience, I could be different professors may disagree, is to expose you to as many different types of um, not just art. Um, shoot, did I just, I just want to say, yeah, I did do that. Okay, sorry. I'm, I'm again, I'm okay. talking and working. It's to expose you to as much um, different disciplines of art and medium to really kind of find who you are as an artist so you may be like i want to be an illustrator well do you want to illustrate you know merchandise and product do you want to illustrate books do you want to illustrate for video games there's so many varying aspects of just being an illustrator or you know i want to be uh you know a designer well are you designing logos are you designing websites there's all these different um disciplines so a part of art school is just introducing you and exposing you to all those things so you can kind of figure out you know what you're capable of, what you're passionate about, what you what you're good at, and um, and it can be like I said, it can be medium, it can be um, it can be uh, discipline. So and and I would say the biggest takeaway is that you also have to be versatile because when you come out of school, very rarely do you get the job that you think you should have. You're not. You're not going to school and going, I want to be an illustrator and therefore, you know. I want to be a children's book illustrator and walk and out with a kid's book deal. Deal. So rarely happens. It really, really does, doesn't happen that often. So you've got to be able to be somewhat versatile and be able to do several things, I believe. I, I mean, I went to art school and at that time, Ange, um, um, editorial illustration was huge. I think we talked about that in an earlier podcast where um, podcast. Uh, they're podcasts yeah, it's a <laughs> podcast now um where where editorial illustration was so huge at the time in magazines like rolling stone and entertainment weekly and and vanity fair and so on and so forth and that 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 because gone i mean it just doesn't Dwindled exist completely anymore. yeah so then you're like oh but well I, if you were a person that really wanted to do editorial like what are you illustrating now, now? yeah you know, um, and and to that is we have friends who did a ton of editorial. When that work dried up, they had to figure out how to adapt their careers and their work into, you know, other fields of illustration. Listen, for me, 
I mean, we may be looking at how to adapt into, you know, you know, how many people are going to run out and buy kids books, you know, this year. I don't know, you know, so it's things to think about. Um, all right. I've got, um, we've got about 10 minutes. I've got, we got a lot done, actually. Look, he's all blocked. He's been cleaned up. He's all blocked in. I'm going to flip him back to his norm. Oh, wait, he's facing the right way. His normal. His normal. <laughs> um, we, let's do some really quick color. Okay. Just to kind of cool. like see um, this palette finding process can take a long time to get the palette just right. I'm using the original cover as kind of my starting point, but that's definitely not where we have to, to stay, Ange. Um, cancel. Um, yeah, I like it. But um, so what I'm going to do is... Let's just pick... Start by eyedropping. Yeah, we're going to eyedrop off the original Kenny and the Dragon cover um, for our little logo. And we're going to go from there. So I am... First I'm going to do is I'm going to call these... I'm wondering if I should group them. No, I'm not. But I'm going... What I am going to do is I'm going to duplicate them all. All right, so I've duplicated them all. I'm going to put these away in a thing. We're going to call them templates those are our templates now we have extra ones that we can mess with and not mess with the original uh templates we have an extra set stashed away so i can do things like this Ange. i can go oh let's try gram in this color and i can literally click this and we can go way down a crazy into crazy land and it won't matter because we have the source template um that we can go back to. I feel like that plume is maybe red. I don't know. Look how it's already a Tony D like palette. Not that, oh, except for the green and the purple. Yeah, but we're getting there. Wait, where's the top circle color? I don't even. I'm just. I'm literally just rando grabbing stuff, and so we'll yeah. we'll get there when we get there. Mm -hmm. And the border. Ooh, I feel like maybe. Navy? I don't know. A blue, a darker blue. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I'm just going to... Just plop it in. Just try to start plopping it in so we go... Oh, already like... Oh, these are my colors. There's all these earthy, mooka-like colors and tones. Um, we'll give Graham more color, obviously. We're not just going to keep him that flat. But it's a start. It's a, and it's too tonally close to the background and yes. Graham and the border. Yes. And I'm also going to put a... What we call in the industry a five yellow in the background to give it a cream. So this is how we replicate cream in printing. We just make a five percent yellow. Just like, oh, there we go. I don't like pure white. I like I like uh, some few things. Sunlight is pure white, but nothing else is in life as far as I'm concerned. All right, um, save that. Ange, you are a mat. I'm gonna admit this here. It's in public. Everyone knows I've. It's taken me years to come around, yeah. and said. Has it taken you no, years? No, it has. I. You are so good with color. You have been. I. I think when we worked on the Mino books, I really started to see. You would come down and look at a painting, and you go, you know, maybe a little more blue or a little more thing. But it, I think it was when we worked on the Mino books, I really got to see your sense of not just one color, but the overall color harmonies and stuff. So, I'm going to defer to you on this on what you think where do where should i start and where should we go now i know graham will have his light colors as well as his his green his his and i feel like even the He's, green it's too it's not blue enough it's not blue it's you want it, all right so we're gonna start I mean, with graham yeah. so tell me tell me where you want me to pick from the original that you feel like is a, a more of a quintessential graham teal it's kind of tealy right He's yeah kind of teal yeah he's got yeah yeah, can... It's going to be really Oh, Ooh, that's super no. green. I, the other thing, too, is we could just go here. And go to the and slider. And I can go to the slider, which and is you what you love. Say I love the you slider. You love the slider. I'm going to let you work the slider. Ange right. is now taking over. You can't see her, but she's here. And you will see the magic of Ange as she starts sliding. Now, again, well, Ange, bear in mind, he's going to have the lighter. I'll put in his eyebrows and his beard and stuff in the lighter cream. Where's the little, um, where is it? Just so I can see it. Ah, there it's we go. It's doing it. Just I a see. Oh, bit. it's got lag on it. It's got a little lag because it's streaming. Ah, I guess. I gotcha. Guess. I don't, I don't okay, know. Okay, I see. Interesting. So there I don't go. want him this um, 
tealy. I want him to be a little into this kind of cooler thing going on, I think. Mm -hmm. I'm kind of digging that. Mm -hmm. That's very grand. Yeah, that's very grand. You like that? I would say this we'll is a nice there. place to start. Okay. And then once you're putting in, you know, you're thinking about like the that little blush color in his ear. Yeah. A little bit of brown in his horns, yeah. etc. Um the canvas looks great to me. It reads as canvas. The plume, I mean Leave you, it for now. What and do you I think would of, say once we start laying in the rest of his colors. Well no. All right, well, let's no. let's do the border. I don't like the green background in back of him. Let's let's work on that. So yeah. you maybe a sky, like a blue, or I mean he's in a studio, I guess. So maybe it's a it's a studio color. Like I don't know. I don't know. Let me see. What do we got here? Um, I, I just see, let me just let me just try. just let me a, um, let me just too too many it's browns. Too, it's too brown. It's too tonally this. It's got to be lighter than the border. Cor oh yeah, it's definitely got to be lighter than the border. Nope, too monochromatic. Go to the ground, kind of that wheatish color. Like in here. Yeah, let's see or that here, over here. It's yeah. really weedy. Yeah, let's see that. Let's see what we get. It's a little not bad. It's okay. It's very okay. Let's get maybe this okay. border needs to be. Yes. Maybe that's the issue. Why do I see the border? I I, I just want to. I just got to know. Oh no 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 no. Too much. No no Too no. Much. It looks like a sign. Yeah. <laughs> no. No see. puppies allowed. Okay. No dragons allowed. Oh yeah, you had said that earlier. You said it's I don't a dark know. blue. I have to just. It's not that color either. Hold on. So saturated. Is I anything know. It's it is. Not it's gotta be, it's gotta it's be. It's got to be super desaturated. Go to the yeah. I was gonna say. Go yeah, right I'm gonna there. try this guy. And then lighten it. Yeah. So it's a little heavy. Yeah. Here. Let's see. Let's see. It's really less of. I mean, this isn't a tutorial. I mean, this is not a Photoshop. This is tutorial. just this is you just look us. and see. This like is this working. is kind of just instincty stuff. I'm kind of digging that. It's working with the. Um, um, let me just see what this looks. See, see. Do you see why little... it doesn't look good lighter? No, I don't it like it starts, lighter. Your eyes start to. We were talking about like we're just talking about light and shadow at this point. So we need to kind of recess that shape. So that's why we're going to add more depth to it. If we want, then we can add a little bit more saturation to that color. But it's pulling you unnecessarily to it. I don't think you so. Need it. Desaturate it. I think. I got to tell you. But again, I also I don't, think it's a. I'm weird... wondering if it's a darker version of the color in Graham's, in Graham, like it's a more of a greeny blue. Let's see. We usually just. I'm He's kind of gonna... Paris. They're kind of Paris. Like the, the colors when I was doing Diva and Flea, and I was using these kind of, these kind of these these uh, patinaed, pa patinated like greens. No. I think also, we've, we've got a blue in the bottom, and that can be a different color. Right. I mean, now, that's going to affect is it. Is this which layer is this? Well, we have to lower finish. Circle? We have to finish what we're doing okay. with this first. Yeah, it is called lower circle. But do you? I kind of don't mind it. I kind of. But again, I think that that's something that can change. Can I? Yeah. Go ahead. I okay. Like Hit okay. Once we get yeah. the level of detail on Graham that we're going to get too. Oop! Sorry. Wrong. Wrong slide there. To slide that, I'm just. We can always go back to it. I'm just looking back what he was. Like, what if we started there and messed with that color? Or, mm -hmm. or, or. Well, see, as soon as I change it, we're gonna lose that. Hold on. I wanna, I wanna keep that color, so I'm gonna eye drop it, and I'm gonna flip my primary and secondary color. I'm gonna try one thing too. But I'm gonna go back to this now, and I just wanna I wanna mess with this. So we can always go back to the color you created. It's there now. I've got it kind of stashed. Um, oh, I'm on the wrong layer. <laughs> My bad. Oh, you're in that background layer. Yeah, I'm on the background layer. That happens a lot. I mean, that green on green. You don't like that? I kind of. Like... Let's try one thing. It's can earthy. I, can I eye drop something? Yeah, 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 of course. Okay. Oh, let me know. Oh, sorry. Oh, no, you got it. Oh, the brown. Let's try it. Okay, and then you got to change it to paint bucket. Yeah. Here, let's change it to paint bucket. Over here. Bucket. Yeah, you got Thank it. Thank you, I got it. You got it? Boom. Right. Boom, skis. And then click it so that, it, yep. 
Oh, wrong layer. No, you were outside of it. You got to be inside the circle. Oh, here. Just in, just go right in the middle of it. Yeah, it doesn't matter. There you go. Brown's not bad. We could lighten it. Lighten it. It's a little dark. Yeah, Let's lighten, lighten it, it up. Let's lighten, shall we? Oh, that's not bad. It's kind of a cool brown, which is nice. I think that's what. Yeah, that's nice. I like that. You don't. No, I'm not. I'm cool with it. <laughs> that's a good pun. <laughs> Cool brown. That's a nice shade. That's kind of cool right there. I like it. I dig that. I like it. All I right, like now this. the lower circle. The lower circle. I have no idea. Right now I've got this really light blue, which I'm not adverse to. Now, you know, this lower circle may be, be, may be irrelevant right now, only because once we put the lettering in, it, the whole thing's going to change. Right. You know? It's true. And I guess the lettering tomorrow will do the lettering. Yeah, we can do. Oh, God, it's so funny because we're what? such like. Of course, I want to dig into it, but I want everybody to see it when we dig into it. So what the lettering? No, I think what we can do between today and tomorrow is I will finish Graham. I'll get Graham's eyebrows and his muzzle. I I only think though, Ange, like I really like how graphic it looks. I don't want to put a lot of of depth and coloring. I kind of like that it's kind of almost car like cartoony in a way like i feel like if i i don't want to put a lot of layers of color in it i like it. i want to keep it more graphic yeah so i think i'm going to add at least one layer and, and what i might do is actually use some of the existing color like i may use the um the color of his easel on him yeah you know what i mean and, yeah, the, yeah, yeah. and the color of the brown on his horns i think so it's like almost like a limited palette thing oh. um and I'll get that ready for tomorrow. I mean, you know how I do it because you just saw me do it. And uh, and then we'll work on lettering tomorrow. How's Sounds that good. Sound? I'm into it. All right. Thanks, everybody, for tuning in. Get ready for the parallax. It's coming. You're going to see my Facebook. Here's the other thing, by the way, just so you know, too. It's not going to stay this flat. Like, we can put some textures on it or, you know, and things like that. Like how right now it feels very cartoony, I oh, feel like. Wait, I literally just said that I liked that look. Sorry. <laughs> I mean, I want to put a little more color in it, and we could put some shadow uh, yeah, on it, it but I don't the thing. want it's it. It's going to need a little. I could do a shadow. shadow. I could do a shadow I need layer. need shadow. I could do a shadow layer, but it, yeah. by nature, it's looking very graphic, like a cart like a comic or a cartoon. Yes. But I, I like that. I don't think we should make it not that, because it's meant to read small. I understand. I want it to be crisp. No, shadows, I think, will be good. A, le a shadow layer would be very helpful, so we'll work Sorry, on Sorry, I got distracted. You did. Our you kid was texting me. Oh, well, that's important. She's at the barn. She's, she's okay. like, I'm ready to go. Yeah, she's good. She's, she's like, good. I'm ready to ride. All right, or, good. Yeah. All right, well, until guys, tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you so much. So much. We'll see you here tomorrow. More computer desktop sharing. And uh, be well, be safe, and uh, hang in there. And you know what? Be kind to the people working at the grocery stores and the gas stations. I have a feeling they are going to be working there throughout this entire insanity that yeah, we're all dealing with. the people who have to handle money and be closer than six feet. And really, how and clean, how clean like, is a grocery store? Right. I mean, I mean, I mean they, they do their best, but you know, you know you're just spilling. Be, be kind to yeah. yourselves and to one another and stay healthy, stay safe. Yep. And practice right. social distancing. And and you know, if you can get one of those hang in there posters with the cat on it hanging from a rope, just picture that in your mind. Yes. <laughs> yes. Hang in there. We're all in this together. And we'll see you tomorrow. Thank you guys. Thanks, guys. Bye. Bye. <laughs>